vibing in resonance. I want to title this video Bonds. B O N D S. Everybody has gone through something. I myself, of course, is included in the everybody. You know, the good, the bad, you know, the ups, the downs, the, the slugs, the punches, the hugs, the love, the cries, the tears, the fears, the emotional roller coaster, that energy. And I realized, or I remembered, that, again, we all go through things. But this time, particularly, I'm going to tell you how I got through this particular moment. Because keeping the balance, like I say all the time, how you doing? Keeping the balance. Because every moment is a new opportunity to keep the balance. Some moments, you might not win every moment. You know? It's that. I haven't met anyone who won every, win every moment, you know? But you, your, your tallies count, count for you going forward, you know? How many times did you win today? How many times did you lose today? You know, when it comes to the balancing of the mind and the heart, you know, hopefully the heart takes, you know, precedence and get, takes the lead. But sometimes the mind can drum you up some brilliant fantasies, uh, can pull all the collective negativity and just drop it all on one spot and on that part of the scale and you just whoop, it can throw you off. So this particular instance, as soon as it happened, I just got into a car accident a couple couple days ago really and totaled my car completely. I'm great, you know? There's a couple bumps and bruises, little cuts that pretty much almost healed up by now. Car demolished, it's fine. But it was a wake-up call for a number of things. But in that emotional wave that came through, I got there's a, a heavy sense of sadness began to overwhelm me. And then I got angry in a sense that I was feeling so much sadness. Then it started to turn into something else. And so immediately, I had to go outside. I went out into nature. Had to. And get, I went out into the rain, it started raining. And I allowed myself to communicate what was going on inside. And I say this to tell you that we're not alone. Not alone in the sense that someone is here to help you. I'm not alone in the sense that there are provoking entities, uh, energies, we'll say, that clock in to fuck up your day, you know, and this, not, not, and I, I want to revert this because immediately I went in to eradicate the energy. Get out of here. You don't belong here. We're sorry, but your kind isn't allowed here. You know, muffle the sadness, you know, strangle the anger, you know, um, just eliminate it completely. Get out of here. You don't belong here. You ain't the highest problem myself. Like, I'm no, all this, like, separation, separation, get off me. You don't, you can't touch me. Like, no. And you can easily slide that into another pocket of yourself and forget those emotions until, and lie dormant until they come back again. Because energy doesn't die. Transmutes. Keeps going. So, in this dialogue that I was having, in elimination mode, and... I had another reflection that we had in Tribe Vibes, and we're all itself. Because I remember all the sadness, all the ideas, those valid things that I've thought of and that I've experienced. And the mind, the monkey mind, began to run with it. And so I caught up to it. And I was like, you know what? I see how you got here. I see how these thoughts can, can seem to uh, build a wall between you and your happiness. Uh, I see where you came from, because this is not me, in a sense. It's, it is me, but it's another product 
of my creations that are being manifested in my mind. And I hope you're, you're sticking with me. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, at our most simple level of ourselves, our building blocks of our bodies, the cells, goes into atoms, uh, elements. And what do elements do? They bond. Good bonds, bad bonds, they bond to whatever it is. I'll give an example. Anywhere I see you, if I see you at the same time, at the same place, I'm probably going to speak to you. So I say that to say, when we're talking about a spectrum of, of energy here, I say feelings here, when you find yourself leaning into a particular spectrum of emotion, a lower emotion, anger, sadness, there are things who, that, hey, you call, you ring, and once you, 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 you pretty much pick up. And from there, you, you begin your dialogue with these things. And just because you're in the frequency, not a bad or good thing. Well, a lot of times they harp on the negative because, again, they clock in to report into you know, that polarization to that's their job. You know, don't get, don't, don't get on it. That's their job. And so I went into dialogue with that awareness. So I started saying that, hey, not that your kind isn't welcome here. It was more of an understanding that, hey, I know where you came from. I know why you are. That I know why you have that mindset. I see why you're sad. It's all valid. You know, but I got to tell you, I ain't going to be here long. So if you want to learn to transmute this energy, I'm internally, in my internal dialogue, if you want to translate this, you want to you move up the ladder, hey, you're welcome to join me. You know? But... We're going to be vibing at top speeds. And if you're up for the ride, I welcome you as a running mate. But if not, I'll leave you here. Because healing doesn't take place in that saturation of sadness. You know, you got to have a way out. If you don't have a way out to transmute that energy, to understand yourself, and to validate everything that you're feeling. And identify a solution. You will sit in that pool or that lake of degradation and just whittle away, you know? Or stuff it, stuff it and put it away for another day. Nah. So that's one way in how I begin to transmute this energy. This is just a moment. I've had moments after that, you know, where have to, having the awareness of emotions. Emotions are like horses. You know, if you check, check the uh, Hindu cosmology, you will see that uh, the, the chariot or the sun, uh, in the, 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 when you look at the archetype of, of the sun in Hindi, you will see that that cosmology of the horses. The horses are like emotions. Emotions can take you places. And if you lose the reins of these horses, you will go into a direction which you have no control over. And uncontrolled emotions are very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. They, they cause all kinds of stresses, eradicate and be a catalyst for all kinds of diseases. Uh, they uh, polarize your actual magnetism. Uh, and that leads to so many other things. So, don't let your emotions get out of control. Emotions are great for taking you places. Great for taking you places. But if you don't know where you're going, there's a space for you. So, I hope this all is coming through. And it's in resonance someplace. And again, not, do not. Push your emotions off to the side, or stuff them, strangle them, mm. or those entities that be creating in the monkey mind. That's another thing too. Uh, Bill from Trevor, uh, Seven, and just in in tribe vibe, we discussed that um, the soul is is ancient. 
more ancient than man. And when I say man, I mean mankind. And we dwell in these bodies, you know, these, and we've learned here with the mind. The soul doesn't speak English. More so speaks in like uh, pictures, images, flashbacks, deja vu, like, you know, so many images, you know, your imagination, your imagination, like that's a brilliant way to communicate through pictures and the feelings behind those pictures. You feel behind those images and left you up to you to interpret. The mind or these voices you hear in your head, a lot of those negative ones are just products of something that you created, something that has been around with you, you know, something you've allowed to be around, you know, and they, they know everything about you, you know, more than you know, subconsciously and consciously. And so a lot of those conversations are happening in English. That's not your truest essence speaking to you. You know, intuition is real. But a lot of these voices, especially the ones that come off in this negative kind of tone, not benefiting you to your highest form of yourself, or, you know, in English, don't, my grandma would call it a tar baby. Don't get sticky. Don't touch it. You know, address, put it in its place within your awareness, and keep moving forward. Because if you stay still, it will pile up and pile up and pile up until it topples over and throws you off balance. So, with that being said, I'm your brother Curtis Aru, a reflection of you keeping the balance moment by moment. I send you healing vibes. I hope this resonates with the soul and it can benefit you in some type of way. If not, hey, it's all love. 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 It's all love.